So I'm Katerina Pereira. I'm a community events manager at OutSystems. So I started my journey with community close to two years ago. So before that, I was doing uh, design and I was already in the events world, but not specifically within the, the community. So I was doing weddings, completely different. And then, yeah, so close to two years ago, I joined OutSystems and embraced the challenge of creating these events specifically, specifically for our own community. So in terms of our user group, so we are a bit, well, we don't have as many groups as Salesforce, but we have a really strong community. So we have close to 65 groups and we are in 33 countries. So obviously we, we want to grow, we want to, to bring as many developers as we can to, to our events as well. And right now we have around 100 leaders. So one of the things that we, we do on a daily basis is try to motivate our leaders and making them feel like they are in a safe place and that they can improve and, and grow. So this is how we do it. So it's all about the leaders. So one of the things we've seen is that we need to know them. So we have a few community managers spread around the regions, but it's really important for us to also have a close re relationship with them, to know them, to, to making sure that they know us, that they know that we are in a safe place, that they can reach out to us, that they can, I don't know, bond with us. And, and whenever they need, they can always come to us. Another thing we, we find really important, and we have had a, a few examples in the past, is to set expectations. So they are building communities. It's something that they are not used to doing. So it's really important for us to tell them that a community is not grown from day to night and that it takes time and that sometimes their events might have fewer people, but we will get there. So it's not about the amount of people, but the, the quality of the, of the event and of the people and of the, of the sharing that make the, the events. The other thing we, we always do is we listen. So we find really important and it's completely like central for them to feel motivated to, to, for them to feel listened to. So we always find space if, for them to give us feedback, for, for us to be available to chat with them, to sit down, to, to share concerns and create a better event and a better community from that. And lastly, it's a matter of just taking all of that and improve, improve from our end as well, because we are not perfect. We don't do perfect events. We are not perfect community managers. And it's just a matter of taking all the feedback from the leaders and improve. And then also, obviously, because everyone loves special incentives. So this is something we, we always have. And actually part of this, we only started doing a few months ago. So we created Slack workspace. So a private communication channel for them to, to connect, for them to talk with each other, for them to discuss topics to discuss how to run events, the best networking tools and all of that. So we want them to bond with each other and it will also help us to take a step back and let the other leaders take the, the opportunity to, to learn from each other. Something we also created was a shared drive. So we have shareable resources from presentations to documents, best practices, all the stuff they need to thrive. So if they are doing, so our events are usually technical presentations. So if they are doing an event regarding a special feature, they can just go there and they don't need to create an event from scratch because they already have their presentations. They can just adapt. And then one of the things that we are working on is on the rewards. So we are creating, we usually, we have not a, a standard swag kit that we send to community members, but we are creating, we are in the process of creating a special swag kit just for them. So like a hoodie or t-shirts or things for them to wear at the events. It's swag kits, I swear. It's one of the things they ask us most. So whenever we have a new jacket or a new hoodie, they are always like, oh, when can we have that? So we want to create that for them as well. 
and we have community profiles so we want to also add special badges we want to for them to also have that recognition within their community profiles and then lastly another thing that we are in the process of creating is just workshops so they again they are not from the events world they are not used to doing community so we want them to have all the resources they can to to make the most out of it. So we are in the process of creating workshops like how to pitch on an event or how to host an event, how to run an event, all of that. And as well, we are doing some mentoring sessions. So we are taking advantage of the older senior members we have at the at amongst the leaders and we are pairing them with junior. So this will help them. As Jessica was mentioned, it's peer to peer. It's really important for them to learn. And as we grow, we won't be able to, to manage all of them at the same time, although we want to have a close look, but the mentoring sessions will help. And then just a few tips and tricks that we have. So they are not foolproof, but they work for our community. So one of the things we always do is just be optimistic and be cheerful. It's it's we always whenever we have whether it's planning calls or just coffee or right before the event starts if we are attending like an online event we always try to be optimistic to to be cheerful to give them to set the right mood and whenever we do this we see that they even themselves get happier they get more relaxed and then it's about empowering the leaders so as I was mentioning, we have a set of resources and we do a lot, of, we, we are with them every step of the way. So it's just a matter of empowering them, giving them all the tools they need to succeed. And lastly, it's about reassuring them. So they are leaders for a reason, right? So they know what they are doing. They know about whatever they're going to, to talk about at the event. They know they know pretty much everything. So it's just a matter of starting, right? Even if they are beginners, if they've never done an event before, it's important for them to know that we are here and that we are here with them to help them every step of the way. And then after the events, what we always try to do is just to praise them. Just take a minute to send them an email, to send them a message and congratulate them on the events. Just say, hey, it was a good event. I'm so happy that you were able to do that and all of that. But it's not just about praising them. It's about giving them constructive feedback as well. So no one's perfect. We are always learning. And it's really important for us to give them the feedback, but to give them in the right way. It's just not about giving bad feedback, but making sure that they know that it's okay and that they can improve in the next one. 